It's coming up on 515 right now and Wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter by going beyond the headlines. And this morning we're taking a closer look at Johnson and Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine that's made a big splash in the past week. The vaccine is not the first one in development, but it could be more promising than the others. We're connecting the dots on why this one is quickly shooting to the top of the national vaccine list. Another company has announced it has a coronavirus vaccine entering phase three trials. So why are a lot of experts excited about Johnson & Johnson's vaccine when others have made the same announcement? Let's connect the dots. Johnson & Johnson revealed it has started the final stage of clinical trials for its coronavirus vaccine. It is the fourth company in the United States to do so, making it a couple months behind its competitors. But as work on vaccines continues to be a hot topic, this announcement has made some big headlines. So why are experts watching this one closely? Well, for one, it's using vaccine technology that has a long safety record when used against other diseases. Plus, Johnson & Johnson believes this vaccine will require just one shot, not two like the others already in stage three trials. And it does not need to be kept frozen during shipment. All that would simplify vaccinating millions of people in the country. So what's the timeline on this one? While it may be behind competitors, Johnson & Johnson is conducting a massive final clinical trial larger than those competitors in the hopes of getting better results faster. Also, the company has already started manufacturing the vaccine on an industrial scale so it can roll it out as soon as it gets approval. Right now, the company is not estimating when that could happen. So promising news there. One more mm -hmm. note about this vaccine over the weekend. Early results from the clinical trial showed it worked in 99% of participants ages 18 to 55. Most of the side effects were mild and resolved after just a couple of days. So very, very promising news on the vaccine front. Especially when you compare it to the flu vaccine, which in some seasons is 30% or even less effective. And then you get those bad side effects too. Right. So we like to see that they're mild yeah. there. And of course, something we'll continue to follow.